In this video the fuel consumption measurement systems of marine controls will be explained. This is the second video of the two videos about flow meter and flow measurement systems. The marine control system can precisely measure the volume or mass of the consumed fuel of an engine. The consumption of the engine can be measured by subtracting the fuel outlet flow from the fuel inlet flow. The mass flow is calculated by multiplying the density of the fuel with the measured volume flow whereby the density is calculated at the measured temperature. Like explained in the first video, this system makes use of the marine control's ring piston positive displacement flow meter with a reproducibility of approximate 0.1%. The consumed fuel of the engine can be expressed in kilogram or liter per nautical mile by connecting the velocity meter on the vessel to the flow measurement system. This fuel consumption measurement brings the following additional advantages for the ship owner. First of all, the exact amount of fuel oil used is available because the precise volume of flow is measured by a selected pair of flow meters with a high accuracy. Secondly, the system is able to show next to the volume flow the mass flow, which makes sure the temperature has not any influence on the measurements. Thirdly, this is a very cost-effective system because the consumption of the engine is monitored at all time. Lastly, by means of a readout the different values are visual and the touchscreen can be an optional addition. This picture shows the fuel consumption system where two PT-100 and two positive displacement flow meters are installed to measure the supplying fuel flow and the returning fuel flow. The two PT-100 and two flow meters are connected to a flow computer which calculates the volume and miles flow. The outcome of these calculations are shown on the display. This drawing shows the same fuel consumption system where the system in the red squares are the added flow meter system components which are required to measure the flow. Across the flow meter is a bypass which will open a safety valve in case of a fuel oil blockage or a too high fuel flow. After the measurements of the velocity meter available on the vessel are connected to the MICF127 the flow can be divided by the velocity of the fuel to find out the consumption per nautical mile of the engine at different speeds of the vessel. When these data are available the captain can choose on specific moments to ship on the optimal speed for the lowest fuel consumption. Hereby captains can set up a ship energy efficiency management plan. This makes sure the captain can ship on the lowest possible fuel cost at any time. In case the fuel supply system works with a gravity feed system, the returning fuel flow does not go back to the fuel tank but to a buffer or degassing tank and therefore only one positive displacement flow meter is required. The second fuel consumption system which can be installed measures solely the flow in the supplying fuel pipe as also seen on this image. If interested in marine controls flow meters you can also find a link to the website in the description. These are the contact details, contact marine controls to find out how the fuel consumption measurement systems can benefit your fleet. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video and that it made you more familiar with the flow measurement solutions.